This music right in the background anyway. Uh, <laughs> Cat in action. So I got myself talked into something here. They had this beer called the Jamma Blackberry. It's a summer release. Um, Belgian fruit, 7%. We ferment our Buck Hollow Blackberry puree to bring you a balanced beer. is isn't too sweet, a little tart with an effervescent finish. This is that beer oak age. Now, those of you that know me know I'm not a fan of the Blackberry or the Raspberry at all. So why would I order something like this? That's a damn good question. Curiosity mostly. Actually, she did give me a small sample before I decided to go full on and order the whole beer. I thought, well, sometimes you got to get out of your comfort zone a little bit. And if I was going to do a video on it, I shouldn't do it over a sampler. I should do it over the full beer. So here we go. The nose is a lot of oak and a lot of tart blackberry. But it's a lot of oak mostly, which is pleasant to me. <laughs> the flavor is a lot of oak, <laughs> uh, a lot of blackberry, and it's a slightly dry, tart finish right at the end. Uh, Mark Pyle recently sent me a beer, <laughs> the Cranbic. Uh, that one really made me pucker inside and out, boy. This one is a little tart at the end, but not quite <laughs> of that same magnitude. So I'm trying to get a, a feel for that cranbic made my asshole pucker. This one just makes you pucker a little bit. It's just enough. It's just enough tart to dry it completely out right at the end. Almost a um, almost a champagne-like finish. But it, what, work, what makes it work for me, being a guy who doesn't like blackberry at all, is the oak. The oak makes it work for me. The fact that there's so much oak in this beer makes the blackberries tolerable to me. So even, <laughs> even if you're not a fan of the blackberry, I think you're going to like this beer. Because I find it very interesting. And the fact that what makes it interesting to me also is that it, it's 7%, and it feels like you're drinking a 3.5% sessioning, which makes it a little bit scary as well. Because you can drink this thing all day long, or think you can, but it's 7%. Because you can't feel that alcohol whatsoever in the flavor. I'm feeling, I'm sure I'm going to feel it later. But wow, the 7% is incredibly well hidden. Because it does feel like you're drinking a three and a half candy ass session. In. So anyways, if I haven't alienated you, I'm not trying hard enough. Uh, I'm trying to be whisper. I'll talk to you later.